Well, if you're looking for a docking station that will suit your Mac Mini M4, and it's a very popular computer system, number one, it's cheap. Number two, it's cheap, but it's fast. And I guess there's a number three in that as well. It just works. I have one myself, which I'm shooting this on. I have a robust gaming system that I game on pretty much only. I have this because, well, when you have OBS Studio set up and all this other stuff, it's there. And it will be there for probably or hopefully years. And, well, myself personally, I won't have to worry about having to reinstall things because, you know, Windows gaming systems have a tendency, they push you to do that, especially when you're trying to install NVIDIA drivers. But I have gone completely off track here. Let's get back to Max. Oh, and by the way, if you enjoy my content, you can do everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and of course, of course, leave a comment. Now, keep in mind, this is Thunderbolt 5. So that's 80 gigabits per second. Super, super fast. It offers two storage models. One for up to 16 terabytes of storage, that's PCI X2, and another for higher speeds, PCI Express times four. There are a number of ports on this, 2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet port, a USB-A port, a USB-C port, an audio jack, and an SD card slot. And it comes with, apparently, a quiet cooling fan. So hopefully that's the case because a lot of times when you put these small fans, they start to buzz and hum. It has an aluminum design, and guess what it's priced at? $279 US, I guess this is the MSRP for it. That is not actually unreasonable. However, for us Canadians and probably for the rest of the world, this is going to cost in our money, real money. You're probably looking at five or 600 bucks for this in Canada. What do you think about this new fancy Thunderbolt 5 dock?